Hello everybody, welcome to today's Kids Code Club. So today we are doing the advanced Python session today. So we've moved on to the second set of exercises. I'm Ali and this is... Dougie. And Dougie, how much Python have you done before? Uh, only a few, coding a robot to move and make and mm. move along lines and even what, like make a, a map of our house. A real sonar. robot. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? So we made a little robot. So that's some physical computing we did with a Raspberry Pi. Today we're going to be doing some um, some coding in our browser. All you'll need today is uh, a browser. So if I just Ooh, turtles. Yeah, we're going to be Squares. making some modern art. Should we show everybody what you're looking Circles. at, Doug? Circles. Right. So we'll just show everybody what's going on. So Re-click it. there we are. So this is what we're going to be making today. Uh, it's a modern art. So hit go and it starts at the beginning. It's modern art. It's got like turtles everywhere and rectangles everywhere and circles and stars. We're going to be working on this. So today's lesson, what it's teaching you underneath is how we can use um, functions to uh, encapsulate some of your logic so you can reuse it over and over and but over again without having to write it over and over again. We can't crack the sprites. No, we can't in this because this is Python. It's a little bit different to Scratch. Oh. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making today. It's not... So you should be able to go to this link here, which is uh, jump2.cc forward slash modern dash go and that will take you to a website called Trinket um, which has a couple of little things already implemented in it for you so hey it looks like um, Praveen's made it do you want to say hi Praveen? Hello everyone uh, I'm Praveen and I'll be supporting you with the session today Great. Um, can you see your screen at the moment, Praveen? Is everything all right? Um, no, uh, Ooh, it's still your on. video. Sorry, my bad. Did we not show the script? Did you see the demo, folks? Or do I need to go back? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we can see your screen now. Great. Okay, we'll go back. Sorry, everybody. I am experimenting with some new software for video. Uh, and obviously, I'm not using it correctly. So, this is what we're going to be building today. It's our modern art project. Turtles! It's going to make random turtles and squares and random circles, circles. and we're going to show you how to draw these on the screen. And stars. So, uh, I'll show you the link again because you obviously didn't get to see that. So, here's the link down here. So, if you go to jump2.cc forward slash modern dash go, that will take you to the right trinket to get started. Uh, Trinket is a website we're going to use to write some Python today. Uh, you should have been using it in the other modules too. So, first things first, we've got our turtle. And we're going to start doing some code. So, I'm just going to go through the exercises here. Um, so, the first thing we want to do is to make sure we can get a turtle on the screen. So. What we're going to do is we're going to use the shape function, which is coming from the import that we've got up there, from that import star from turtle. We're going to write shape, and we want our shape to be turtle shaped, like that. So now we want to keep hitting run the whole time. Every time we do something, we want to make sure that the code works. So we're going to hit this big run button that's up here um, to run our code. And what you'll see is over here, We've got a black turtle. A black turtle? Ah. Oh. Black. Well, do you want to? I think we should use some prettier colours, don't you? Yeah, like orange, yellow, and maybe a Ferrari. A mixture of colours making brown. What a mixture of colours making brown? Brown? I think we should go for something pretty like. Well, I purple. saw a brown. I saw a brown stuff. Okay. Dad, your favourite colour is purple. Okay. So, to change the colour, 
of our turtle, we're going to use the colour function. So you can tell it's a function because it's a name of the thing, so colour in this case. Can you do time? Followed by some brackets. And the brackets, oh, I'm just zooming again. Can you do time? So I've got my brackets in there. And what you put inside the brackets are the parameters for the, for the function that you're going to pass in. Uh, can you do time? Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to make this a bit bigger so everybody can see. Uh, we'll see in a minute. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Can you do a time? So the colour function... The colour function takes three variables. So this first function takes a single variable, which is a string. A string is just like a word. Um, so that one, in this case, it's turtle. You can tell it's a string because it's inside quotes, like speech marks. This one, however, takes three numbers to make up a colour. So on a computer, do you know what we use to create the colours, Dougie? No. Do you know how we combine them to make a different colour? No. So what? You, what wait, I remember. On on, the, on, the, on a um, so on the scratch, you have to. There are sliders in different orders: ah. color, saturation, and brightness. <laughs> yeah. That is one way of doing colors. This is a slightly simpler way, which just changes the color. Uh. Sorry, Praveen. Is it? Is everything coming through okay, or is it? It's a bit blurry than um, the screen share. I don't know if everyone can see it. Have a quick look. The import star doesn't look like star. Asterisk, it looks like a dot, the star. Okay. Uh, well. Um, with the superscript, not a let me dot. Black turtle. What's the difference between a turtle and a black turtle? Okay, uh, we'll, we'll see black. how we go. Well, we'll keep going. So, we've got our colour next. That's the next thing. So, colours in Python are made up from... Numbers. Three numbers. One that represents red. One that represents... Blue. And, uh -huh. and that represents green. So much green and how much red and how much blue. Only it's usually red, red green, blue. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so... And did you know, you yeah. choose a number between 0 and 255 for the amount of that thing that you want. So, and if I did 255, 255, and 255, and hit go, where's white. our tortoise? It's white. It's white, that's right. And if I did 000, what would you get? Um, black. Yeah, that's right. There's our and black one. How, wait, can you put, oh, can we experiment with the colours? Can you do So if I do if I do two five five in that one, what colour do you think it's gonna go? Hmm. That must red. Yeah. Then And if I put two five five in that one, what colour do you think it's gonna go? Green. Yep. Yeah. And if I put two five five in that one? Blue. Okay, so what colours do we need to mix if we want to get purple? And um, blue and red. Perfect. So that's the first parameter, isn't it? If we hit go, it's kind of a magenta colour. Magenta. Ooh. Can you make cyan? <laughs> uh, yes, most probably. Most probably we can do cyan. I'm not 100% sure how, though. Um, wait, can we experiment with the colours? So on that one, can you do... Seven on red. Can you do seven? Mm -hmm. And then um, the middle one. Can you do ninety? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's start with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So we've got a turtle, and it's got a colour, and that's a really good start. But what we want to do next is random colour. Is random colours. Okay. So random colours. We're going to import a new function, and that's the random. Uh, we're going to import that from the random library. Is it so, one of those def or um, quack q things? Because I've seen those weird symbols in Scratch in an mm. operator, def. <laughs> Maybe. Let's have a look. So, to bring in the, the random feature, sometimes 
to use different features in your program, you need to pull them in from libraries of different features. There might be a maths library, or there might be an image library for you know showing images on the screen, or maybe a sound library for making sound. But in this case, we want to, from random, import star. I don't want to put star at the end. So star means everything. So we want to import all the different functions inside the random library here. And the function we want to use today is called rand int. And that's, that chooses a random number. It takes two variables, one which is the minimum value and one which is the maximum value. Now let's So see. this is going to give me a random value between 0 and 255. And we're going to use that for our red. Okay. okay. You could you duplicate that? Yeah. And then just change the red to a blue or a green or a... Exactly. My thoughts exactly. So just copy and paste that and just make sure I change this here. Red, green and blue. See, now you're thinking like a programmer. You don't have to type everything out. You want to copy and paste it, don't you? <laughs> so now... Well, we don't need that. We don't need that line there, but we need to set the colour a little bit further down. So we're going to go colour. And instead of putting a number in here... Red, green, blue. Sorry, on the screen. Yeah, red, green, blue. So these guys here, what we've done here is we've put that random integer, that random number that we're choosing between 0 and 255, we're putting that inside a variable called red by saying red equals that. Wait, can you, there it is. So should can we hit you make go? a variable of time so that it can make a timer? Maybe. So let's hit go. Oh, that's a cool colour. Let's hit go again. Different colour, different colour, different colour, different colour. Pretty neat, huh? I'm sure you... What? I at first time I saw I saw that I saw some sort of splat shape. Could you could you actually do a splat shape one? Okay. Last time of black. So how are we doing, Praveen? Is it everything looking all right at the moment? <laughs> Praveen has very helpfully sent me the colour for um Cyan that you're asking for, Dougie. Oh. <laughs> How are you getting on, sir? Yeah, sorry, I wasn't mute. Um, yeah, everything is good. Um, Cyan! There you go. Great, so shall we move on? Thank you. So, this is great, but if we wanted to have it change colour a them. couple of different times, Right at the moment, we'd have to do this. We'd do that, and then we'd have to do, like, put that underneath, and then put it underneath, and put it underneath. And that's really messy, and it's, it's quite time-consuming, isn't it? To have all that code like that. If I hit go, it should change colors. What we want to do is we're going to use a function. Like death, or quats. Could be, I don't know. So this is a function. So this is how you write a function and reuse your code over and over again. Get it? So, to say you're starting like a function... Like a loop in Scratch. Kind of, yeah. So this is a different way of reusing your code. So to create a function... Told write, you! You write def. I, I meant that, sort of. Death. Oh, you were saying death. I thought you were like, as in the Grim Reaper. No, but death! But death! High five. I should just listen to what you're saying more. Deaf, not deaf. deaf. Yeah, my bad. Here we go. So we've got deaf, uh, and we need to give our function a name. What should we call it? Um, random. Random. So in this case, it's doing a random colour. Random colour. Random colour. And then a function always has to have brackets, just in case it wants to take a could, variable. Could, and then it ends with a... Oops. <laughs> It ends with a colon like that. I told you I said death. Got it. That's enough of that. So, the last thing we need to do is make sure we indent our code. So, Python needs to have, um, it, it uses white space, 
so like spaces to know what belongs to each function. So to say all these lines belong to this function here, I need to move it in using tab. Using the tab key, move that in with tab. Now it knows that all of these belong to it. So should we hit go and see what happens? Yeah. Hmm, it's black every time. Do you know why? Why? Well, we've defined the function. Define, that's what it means. Define. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we've defined it, but we haven't used it. So we need to use it. So yep. I'm going to move this shape down here, OK? Um, and I'm going to move it back so it's, it's still at the beginning of the line there. And now underneath, I can use our new function that we wrote called random colour. And now... <laughs> error! Yeah, it's because, do you know why? It says rand colour, name error, I can't find. It says it's not defined. If you look at the name of the function we defined, it's called random colour. So I made Rand this... colour? Yeah, and I said rand colour, so I was wrong, you see. So, I need to change that to be random colour. I'm going to hit go, and now it's random again. Randoming, randoming. So hopefully everybody's got that. So now we've got a function here that we can reuse whenever we want. So that's great, but right now, it doesn't really look like modern art yet, does it? just looks like a transforming coloured turtle. Yeah, Super turtle! They're all in the same place, so we want them to move about. So, okay? mm. And you know how we do... I've we heard of um, go to random position. Yeah, in Scratch you've got go to random position. But in here, the turtle... Wait, the another turtle random... Has... Instead of a random, random position. He's all over it, this is great. Totally, we'll get there though, okay? So, to move the turtle on the screen, you use go to. Like that. Oh yeah. I've, and go I've to takes two parameters. X and Y. Exactly. But if it's 3D, it's X, Y, Z. Yeah, that's right. But in this case, it's just X and Y, right? So X is the horizontal position on the screen, and Y is the vertical position. The very middle of the screen is zero for both. Yeah. So if you go all the way to the left like this, that would be minus 100. And if you go no, all minus, the way to the right... Minus 200. What on Scratch is minus 200, on this I think it's just oh. minus 100. And if you go all the way to this side, it's 100. So, if I wanted it to go to the top of the screen, I could do 0, 100 like that, and I'd move it up there. But it draws a line. Oh, but it draws a line. We do not want it to draw a line, do we? So, we'll get to that in a moment. Up so we, we've down, got it moving. Up. So now that we know it takes two parameters, and our colour function took three parameters, what do we need to do to define a random position? Uh, what code the, do you think we need to write? So you tell me what um, we need to write. So random, random place. It's not random position. Okay, random, random place it is. I can't type today. Random place. I think you might have forgotten something. What do we need to do when we're making a function? We need to... Um, brackets. Well, brackets, yeah. We totally need brackets, but we need to define it. Def. Def, just like you said. Oh, and what? then don't forget, we need that semi, uh, that colon at the end, don't we? Yeah, I've heard of another um, defined thingy mm -hmm. called... Which Nick's name is named Qu Quats. Something we're going to have Q. Hmm. I'll come and have a look at that afterwards and we'll find out what that is. Quack. So, we've got random place and we've got our go-to. So what do you think we need to put inside here? Random... random. So we Stamp! Need, uh, no, so we need to get a number between minus 100 and 100, don't we? Between minus 100 and 0. No, we want to get a random number between minus 100 and 100. Oh, so how do we do that? minus 100 and 100. Yeah, so we want to have x is going to be rand int, again, random integer, which is another name for a whole number. And we're going to say minus 100, so between minus 100 and 100. And we need the same thing for the y coordinate. And do that. 
And then we need to tell the turtle to go to that position, don't we? Go to. So let's do that. So we're going to put our go to there and make sure it's indented the same amount using tab. But instead of 0 and 100, what do we need inside those brackets? We need to pass Minus in, one. Well, we need to pass in the variables that hold our random values, don't and, we? And maybe you need to so just draw similar. a huge, enormous arrow into there. <laughs> well, what we need to do is we need to put in the x one there and the y one there. Go to x or y. And then the last thing we need to remember to do is remember to put the ran call the random place function down here. Random place. Now can do I you want to hit go and see what happens? I'll to use this one. Okay. So you hit go. Uh, Nick. So that's quite good. And if we want two, hold on, careful. If we want two turtles at the moment, we copy this, right? Oh, we don't need the turtle bit. So we just need random color, random place again. And we use stamp. So stamp, stamp it's so like a stamper. What we're going to do is we're going to take our turtle and go stamp, stamp a turtle here. So make random turtles appear in so random use, places. Use a stamp on. function like that. So here we go. So if we press go now, ah. it does that, but it's painting those lines. I hate those naughty lines. Wait, why can't we just um, type in go away lines? <laughs> well, we can. So you remember in Scratch when we used the pen? Um, yeah, pen up. Push. You've got it. So we need to lift our pen up. And so, we want to do that. So by so it's a bit confusing. So pen down is actually when it's down to right. Yeah. And then pen up means it. So up. when do we want the pen to come up? Before it moves, yeah? Before it moves. So that means before this go to here, we can say pen up. And that's a function. So make sure you call that like that. No. We're doing pretty well here, so we've got pen up, but if we use pen up, we need to do pen down as well, right? Oh, yeah. So we want to do that. When do we want to do that? And do what? When do we want the pen to go down then? When? After we've moved. After we've moved. After we've and moved. that's how we're going to make the stars by drawing it. Ah. Pen. And you can fill. Like that. And make sure, oops, let's make sure you test your program. So hit go and see what happens. Yeah. It's the bottom button. Yeah. Why does it only work with the bottom? So there we go. So we've got it two. It does two. So you mentioned it earlier. I think you mentioned it earlier. What can we do to make lots of turtles? Duplicate. We could duplicate it. What's a way of doing it without duplicating it? From scratch, what might you do if you want something to keep happening over and over and over again? What a loop. A loop. Okay, so now, we're going to use a kind of loop. Do we do you use that special type of um, drawing things with symbols? We'll get there in a moment. So, a loop in Python looks like this. One kind of loop is this. We're going to do four. I think it's four, is that right? For i in range, oops, range. So how many do you want to do? Thirty. Thirty. Good one. That's what our loop looks like. Don't forget your colon at the end. Yeah. Otherwise, it. And then we need to say that these lines of code belong to this loop. Do you remember how we did that for the de for the defines up here? Oh yeah, we hmm. trinked it. We, we what? We um, put a space between. That's right, space is at the front. So that's what tells us which lines of code belong to it. So that's kind of like, you know in um, Scratch how it's got like a bracket and a hole and it moves it in when you, the stuff that goes inside the loop. Mm. It's kind of exactly the same really. When you look at it, it's kind of the same shape. Mm. So here we go. We don't need these bottom lines anymore. And if we hit go, But it's moving and but then, it's moving. And then dropping it. Like dropping the 
<laughs> a coloured poo the same size of... Doug Harry. Same size. So that's kind of weird. So we've, just, we've done something that's not quite right, haven't we? It's moving. Well, we could do hide until it stopped. Probably. Hang on. Let's move on from this. Maybe that's an extension task for everybody else. How can you hide it in between the moving? Trying. Mm hmm. Because I can't see what I've done wrong. <laughs> well, maybe it's meant to do that. Yes. There we go. Yes. So there we go. So the last thing we want to do is all our turtles are looking the same way, aren't they? See? They're all looking the same way. They're all so looking. how do we get them to randomly They're... look in a different direction? Um, turn whatever. So there's a function for the turtle called set heading. So the same as there's one for go to, there's a function called set heading. It's um, is there loads of different shapes you can do, like splat? We'll see. So there's this set heading function. That takes a number between one and another very special number that's to do with circles. Do you know what that number is? No. So do you know what a degree is? Oh, uh, yeah. So how many degrees are there in a circle, do you know? Am I boring you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're so, wondering. Is it, 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 is it... Does it include the minus or not? No, it doesn't. So this one is 360. There's 360 degrees in a circle. And our turtle is in the middle of that circle. So currently he's looking over this way. Hello! So we're going to use the same kind of function that we've just written to make him go in a random direction. So, what do we need to do? But we need another thingy called set heading. Yep, so we've got it. So we need to create a new mm, new loop. Not quite. Uh, so look at our random place function. Def. That's it. So we need Df. to we need to define a new function called mm -hmm. random heading. What does def stand for again? Definition. De define, yeah, define. definition. Yeah. So we've got our random heading function and already our cursor's moved in. So now we need to pick a number, random number between 1 and 360. So what do we do? Mm. You can look at one of our previous functions, there's a clue in there. It's going to be pretty similar to that one. It has to be some sort of X version of... Mm. Wait, um, move right and move left. Well, kind of. So here we go. So I'm going to call our parameter heading. And heading's going to equal what? So we need a random number between 1 and 360. I'll give you a clue. It starts with r. Rand. Rand. Int. Rand int. 1 to 360. Oh. That gives us that. And then we can use our set heading function. So that's in there. And we need to put in our variable called heading. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I've, what have I done wrong? You didn't put a bracket on the end. No, I've got my brackets. And I've, colon. No. Good, good guesses, though. It's usually always a missing semicolon. Uh, what we've done, I've forgotten to use our new function again. Look. Shape turtle. Random colour. Random place. Stamp. We haven't used random heading. Let's put it in. Random heading. Random heading. Boom. You want to hit go? Yeah. So hit go then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's pretty neat. <laughs> so we're doing pretty well. So, but it's not doing what it's meant to do. I know what the problem is. The problem is we haven't set the speed. So, we can set the speed of our turtle to a special number. We can change the speed. So, is it that the speed is too fast to, for us to see? Yeah, there's a special number, which but, is speed zero, which tells our turtle to move instantly instead of... Um, 
Mm. Instead of moving, like mm. gliding towards where we're going. So we've got that speed zero there. Now can I click yeah, it? Yeah, you click it. Wow. Pretty cool, Again, huh? Again, I get, oopsie, no. Let me control it. Yeah, there you go. Whee! Great. So I think we're doing okay. How are you getting on, Praveen? You could just yep. keep it. It's good so far, yeah. So yeah. do you, do you want to see all of the code so far? I think it's good to share the code um, at this point uh, to see uh, if everyone, anyone needs uh, because some of the code is not visible, right? Yeah, so how's everybody doing? If you've got any bits of the code you'd like to see, just ask a question in the chat box and we can help you out. What are all the other um, special thingies called? Special thingies? The things on the deck. On the depth. Ah, oh, we'll see. So, I'm just going to show, walk through the code again. So what we've got at a high level, if I fold up the code, is I've got three functions that we've written. These functions, you start a function by typing in def, a name of the function, then you need some brackets and a colon to say that it's a function. Uh, in our first function here, which is random color, we use this rand in, uh, which chooses a random number. And then that rand in function um, takes two parameters. And we've given it the minimum value that we want to get out, which is zero, a number between zero and 255. So that will send, that will give me a value between zero and 255 and it will pop it into a variable called red. And we do that three times, one for each color. Uh, and then we use the special color function, which belongs to turtle, uh, uh, to pass in those three values, and that gives it a random color. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So that was our first one. If you're having problems with that, it might be that you've potentially forgotten to import uh, to bring in this import up at the top. So you need to say from random import star. And that's what brings in the rand int function. Rand int. What does rand int mean again? Does it mean um, random oh. int? So if you want, I've got a copy of the link here as well that Praveen's just taught me how to do this. Thank you, Praveen. <laughs> So Still I can it. copy that in. Every day is a learning day, right? Uh, and I can pop that into the chat window. Oh, I've only sent it to Praveen. Hold on a second. Oh, and attendees. So there you go. There's a link to my code at the moment. So you've got that. So we've got our three functions, one for color, one for place, and one for heading. And then we've we created a for loop. I didn't talk about this really. So this range function, this range function returns all the numbers in between zero and 30. And what's going to happen is the first time it goes around, it's going to set the variable i to be the first one in that range, which is zero. And then it's going to do all these things. It's going to come around to the top and what comes after zero? Not a trick question. What number comes after zero? One. One. <laughs> and then it's going to do it again up until it gets to 30, and then it will finish the loop, and that's the end of the program. But then so, we need it to do different squares. Right. So here's the fun bit. We're going to get on to the next part, which is drawing squares. Dun, dun, dun. So... At the bottom of our script here, what we want to do, the shape. we could copy all that, but we, we don't want our turtles to show for the next bit. So what we do first is we Hi. use a special command called clear, and that clears everything that's on the screen. So if we hit go, bing, and they've all but gone. But that one's still safe. Huh? Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And but at the end of, at the end of that, we want to set our heading back to zero, so we're pointing back north, I think it is. So let's have a look. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, so no, so zero is pointing east. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do actually is we're going to comment out some of this code. So this is, a, this is a way, so comments are used for humans to read, so the computer just ignores them. So I'm going to describe the code underneath. To write a comment, I put in this hash symbol here, which is next to the enter key. Do you see it there? Yeah. See the hash? And each sometimes, of it... sometimes in America that's called a pound sign. So after that, I can write whatever I want. And my code is still going to work because the computer ignores this line. But I might. Why did you just go through random? Because I might say loops round. 30 times or I could even say draws 30 random turtles and that describes what this code's doing for the next human that comes along to read it but what we can do if we don't want some code to run we can use comments to cheat so if we put these hashes at the beginning of all these lines it won't run that code but you could do um, you could do print hashtag and then all, and print it in front of there and then it's like a that's a bit piston. meta. So we need to write a program that writes the program. Is can you actually do that? Yeah, totally. I'll show you a video of it later. It's crazy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle. So we want to make a brand new function. Cool. So we're going to define a new function called draw. Rectangle. Rectangle. What do you want the rectangle to be shaped like? Well, usually like a rectangle. Oh. So Did you know that a what? square is a special type of rectangle? That's right. And what? Tell me about a square then. A square is, has all equal sides. Okay. And whereas a rectangle has two um has two equal and two equal on the, yeah. both sides. So the the two so, ones that are x are equal and the two ones that are y are equal. Exactly. But none, now. But the others might. Now, okay. So say we wanted to draw a rectangle that was a random size between 10 and 100 on one side and a random size between 10 and 100 on the other side. Any ideas? We might need two random numbers. A code to run the code sounds really cool. I really want to do it. <laughs> we'll do that later. Okay, so here we go. First, what we want to do is we want to hide our turtle because we don't want to see the turtle on the screen. So we're going to hide the turtle using that the hide sounds turtle like function. Dirtle. It does. Hide Dirtle. Dirtle. <laughs> dirtle. And Wait, no. Hide. Hide. So do you know how we? Do you know how you might describe a rectangle with just two numbers? Um. No. So you could say Wait, X and Y. X and Y, yeah, that's good. Or you could call it height and width. Oh. Yeah. Or depth so, if it's a Q. Love it. So let's go with height for a variable name, and we're going to use that rand int function again to get a random size. And we're going to do ten and one hundred. So because we don't want it to be super tiny, and we don't want it to be super big. So there we go. So that's going to give us our height for our rectangle. Now we want our width. So what do I need to write for that? Width. <laughs> width. Equals randint. Randint. Randint thingy. And then what do we want to use in there? Mm. Same? Mm. Yeah. Okay, 10 and 100. 10 millimeters. Uh, 10 pixels. So that's the number of pixels. Oh. Right, so now here's the fun bit. So, we want to make a filled rectangle. So, we don't have a rectangle at the beginning, but we're going to start a shape. Oh, sorry, we're going to start, begin fill. So, we're telling the turtle that we're about to start drawing a shape that we want it to fill in. Oh. Got it? So, we're going to say begin fill, and then we're going to tell our tortoise to move forward by our width. Yeah? Yeah, but we want the thing to hide. Hide the turtle, we've done it. Yeah, no, but it hides all of the turtles except for one. Oh, don't worry. That will that will be solved in a minute. Don't worry about that. I, I really 
I I can't believe I made I dis I discovered how to make a code to run the code. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So, do you know what right angle is? Yeah, ninety nine so, degrees angle. What degrees? Ninety. Ninety degrees. So, do you know what four times ninety is? No. Wait, no, three sixty. That's right. That's the degrees in the circle. You got it. So what we want to do is we're going to say turn right. So there's our turtles moving along. He's moved along. We want him to turn right 90 degrees. And now we want him to go forward again. But this time we want him to go forward by the height. And then we need to turn another right angle because we're, we're sort of drawing a rectangle like this, aren't we? So we go right again. 90 so degrees. You're using the so you turtle sort of drawing. It's drawing, so the but pen's it's down. Invisible. But it's invisible whilst it's drawing. We just see what it's drawing. You get it? Mm. Exactly. So now forward the width. And then right one last time for the fourth side. That's the fourth corner. Oh. And then forward by the height. Alex. Got it? And now we've got there. The last thing we need to do is say end fill. And then it will fill in our shape. Now let's see. So shall we use our function to draw a rectangle yeah Let's see what happens should we do that yeah, yeah. yeah there's only one and it doesn't show and it doesn't do the turtle one before mm -hmm. oh that's because you put the exactly because we commented out this code it meant we can skip over the turtles and just go straight to drawing rectangles mm. got it so what do we need to do if we want to draw more than one rectangle? What did we do with the turtles? Oh yeah, depth. Mm, what did no, we do with the turtles? That's four, four space I space in. Yep, yeah, we can use this code again. Let's take that and we're going to put that there and put our draw rectangle inside it by moving it in. And now we're going to draw 30 rectangles. You ready? Mm. They're all staying in the same place. And yeah, so they're all starting in the same sort of place and they're all the same colour. So what do we need to do to make them a random colour? It kind of makes a shape that looks like a divine beast from um, Zelda. kind of does. But what do we need to do to our loop down here? Uh, that's a brown colour. To make it a random colour? Yeah, it's black. What a did random you... colour. That's it. You just type in random colour. Perfect. So should we try that? Yeah. And that's... So, error name random colour. <laughs> yeah, I've done it again. Do you know why? Why? I've made a typo there. I missed the letter U. Let's try that again. And look, that's great. But look, they always yeah, start in the middle. So what can we do to change if we want them to start in random positions. Go to random positions. Yes, so we've got our function from earlier that we wrote called random place. And we're gonna use that one. We're gonna put that inside there as well. Dad, you're the cleverest person I know. <laughs> well, thanks. I think, you need to, mm. I think you need to meet some more people, buddy. There's much more clever people than me, like Praveen. He's super clever. No, you're the best one. Oh, thanks. You're biased, though. So there we go. Hey. So, so we've got our random rectangles. So, shall we do our turtles again as well? Yeah. So if I want our turtle code to run again, I'm going to uncomment those lines by deleting those hashes. So if I delete those hashes on each of those lines, and delete and that one up there. Oh, yeah. oh no, that's my comment that says draws 30 random turtles. Perfect. So here we go. There's our turtles. There's our squares. And you can actually see them being drawn. Yeah. It's really cool. I wonder what would happen. You know we did, for the turtles, we made them point in different directions. Yeah. Do you want to see what happens if we do that with the rectangles? Yeah, I wonder. Should and we then we can go? just delete the code. And so we can code. use our random heading like that and put that in there as well and see what it does. You ready? Yeah. So first it's going to do the turtles. Turtle. Wee. Oh cool! <laughs> I don't think that was in the code, like in the in the exercise. So that's kind of fun. Keep that? Oh, it wasn't. It was really fun. It looks like it's 
Cool. It's exploding out. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. That was pretty neat. Let's let's actually keep that. Right. Okay. So we've got our draw rectangle function now. And it's so I'll turning. just I'll just scroll back to that because it's quite a long one. So first of all, we're going to hide the turtle. That's right. Then we get a random value for our height and our width. Then to make it fill in, we do the begin fill at the start before we start moving the turtle. And we've got our end fill at the end when we finish moving our turtle. I, I really then like we've got, how it turned around. We've got four different lines here. So what we're doing is first we go forward by the width, we turn 90 degrees around the corner. And then we go forward by the height and turn 90 degrees again. So that gives us like an L shaped bit like that. And then we need to turn 90 degrees and come back this way and then go up to meet where we are. In fact, if I comment out the speed like that, you'll be able to see it moving. I'll comment out our turtles again as well so that we can see. If we do that, see it's sort of drawing the rectangle. Do you see how it's doing it? <laughs> They'll take ages to do Yeah, it will. So I'll put the speed back to regular. Cool. <laughs> so that's that, right? So now, do you want to do circles? Yeah, draw circles. But this time, can you actually make the, see the line go around in a circle and then fill? I'm not sure you can do that unless you forever turn the tiny amount until it reaches the um, mm. thing and then you can fill. Okay. But I'm not sure so. you can do that. What we're going to do, after we've drawn our rectangles, what did we need to do after we drew, drew all our turtles so that we had a clear, we had nothing on the screen? What did we do? Mm, clear. That's right. So clear. after that, we're going to use our clear function again to clear the screen. Uh, and it's probably fine. There we are, like that. Now, there's another function that the turtle has called dot and a dot can be used to draw a dot of a different size. I see. So a big so dot is you, like a... Like, so you're just drawing a pen different width, sides, sizes, but it's, but it, but not moving. Mm -hmm. So should we try yeah, out, see, should we give it a try, should we try it? So we, I think we can just do turtle dot, dot. <laughs> And then it takes one parameter, which is the size of the circle. So why don't we try 10? Uh, I'm going to comment out this code so we can see the circle really quickly. Like that. And get rid of our... Oh, we've got rid of our turtle loop. That's good. So if I hit go, let's see what we get. Hmm. Turtle is not defined. I wonder if we just need to write dot. Should we give that a go? Hmm. Hum. Hmm. What if I do a hundred? Hum. Ha ha! There we go, there's a circle. Yeah, but it's a hundred circle. Okay, so what if we want to do a random size between 10 and 150? Um, we've, we've done this a minute ago. We've done our random numbers. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So how do we do it? Let's write a function to do a random size circle. So how do we declare our function? Mm. How do we define our function? D-E-F. D-E-F. And we're going to call it uh, draw circle. Draw circle. Circle. Yeah. And there we go. So there's our function and we're going to put a dot inside it. So how do we choose a random size again? What do we need to do? Uh, so 10 space comma 150 space comma. Right yeah, here. I see what you're saying. So I'm going to say size. We need our variable, don't we? And into our variable, we're going to put our rand, random number again. Randit. And what did we say between 10 and 150? Like that, yeah? And then we do size like that and if we want to draw 30 circles of a different of different um, colors what would we do 
Thirty seconds. Yeah. It's hard work all this programming, isn't it? I can't remember. Can you not remember what we did to do a loop? Oh uh, yeah, for uh, for space I space in space range in bracket thirty. What if I wanted to do fifty? Five zero. Five zero. Yeah. So we can do that. Um, yeah, and then don't forget your colon at the end. Yeah. Because that says where the beginning of the loop is. And what do we need to do to get a random colour? Random colour. So we want to make a picture like this. What did we have to do before? We had to do a random colour. Random colour. Yep. Yeah. And what if we want it in random places? A uh, random place. Mm -hmm. And what's the last thing we need to do? We've not drawn anything yet. Draw. Draw what? Pen down. Mm, we've got our function to do it for us. Draw. Circle. Your circles. Cool. Draw. Circle. Like that. Do you want to hit go? Nope. Oh. Okay. Yep, yeah, top one. Yep. Yeah. The turtle's uh, in the centre of the... You can see the turtle. So what do we need to do? We need to make sure we hide... Hello! I'm getting closer. So before, when we didn't want the turtle to show up, what did we write? Do you remember? Clear. Mm, that was to clear the screen. Hide! Mm -hmm. So we did that up here hide in draw rectangle. Turtle. Hide turtle. So we're going to put that hide turtle inside our drawer, aren't we? Hide turtle. Cool. Like that. And I think that'll work now. You saw it at the start. You did see it. You, you did. did see it for a second. Yeah, but that's okay. So that's pretty cool. So now we've got. Hey, look, we could, we could. Next time we can make it your look, very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. And draw little dots, and then it can go up to here, and then uh. draw little dots up there, and then draw a little face, and then it'll be the little hungry caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. I think you probably could if you wanted. But I'm not so I'm just uncommenting all the code from earlier so I can see our modern art. So here we go. Oh, yeah. So let's do our... So there's our turtles. There's our random rectangles. And then we should have our random circles. And then we need our stars. Well, we're running out of a bit of time. So what I'm thinking is, if there's anybody... Who wants to do stars? Oh, we... yeah. Well, you can make Jesus appear on the screen and say, I will clear the whole world. Okay, we could. And refresh it mm. from the start. Sounds good. I'm just going to share my code with everybody again, so you've got a copy of it. So, here's... Can you see things in Python? Like that, yeah. What, do you mean um, I, like... the speech bubbles in yeah. Scratch? Uh, probably. So, I've just shared a link to the code. So you can have a look at it on your own. If you're having any other problems, do let me know uh, and we can walk through it. Or if you've got any questions, we've got a few minutes to do that now. But for a bit of homework or an extension task well, to do this... console me. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. One day Ooh. we'll get there, okay? Console means what? Console showing what the program's doing underneath. We don't need to see the console though, we just need the run. So, any questions, Can folks? You can see. So, I'll tell you what our extension task is. So, you remember how in our draw rectangle, yeah. we used the turtle to move around and draw like lines on the screen? Oh, yeah. You can do that to draw other shapes as well. Like so what stars. If, what if we wanted to draw an equilateral triangle? What's what? Tell me about an equilateral triangle. Well, it's got equal angles and equal length sides. Exactly. So if we wanted to draw an equilateral triangle, what would we need to do? Just do draw equilateral triangle. Yeah, but we need to define our equilateral triangle. So let's let's say draw EQ triangle. Why did you just so, say EQ? Oh, <laughs> I'm writing C sharp, folks. Ignore me. Uh, so equilateral, just because I can't spell equilateral. 
<laughs> Why did you type an EU? EQ because it's short for equilateral. So here we go. So we need a random, so we want our size again. We're going to do a rand int between 10 and 50. So that's going to be the size of one side of the triangle. And because they're all the same size, we only need one, right? So what did we do with our rectangle? We did begin, begin fill at the start and the end, begin fill, and then end fill for the end. And now we need to draw with our turtle. So uh, what do we do first? We want to move forward, right? So we're going to go forward. And we need to use our size variable. Size? Okay, so what are the three equal angles inside an equilateral triangle? Do you know? Mm, 60 usually. 60! Amazing! So, I'm really, I'm really impressed that you knew that. That's really cool. So we're going to turn right, 60. So that's one side, so we need to draw another side. So we're going to do forward size. And then we're going to go right, 60 again. And then finally, forward size. And that's our equilateral triangle. I should draw one. Should we give it a go? Yeah. So I'm going to do, I'm going to find, okay, I'm going to change the rectangle one to our draw EQ triangle. And let's hit go, see if it works. And there's turtles. Ah. Oh, it's 60 on the inside, so we need, to do, we need to do it on the outside. Fun and games. There you go, everybody. There is your challenge for your homework this week, <laughs> is to work out how to draw your equilateral triangle. You need the outside angle instead. Uh, wait, minus, si no, uh, 160, no. Six hundred. <laughs> oh, it's good. So it's so if you think of your circles like that, we're doing the inside edge like that. We need to know what the rest of the circle would be. So if a whole circle's three hundred and sixty, what do we do? Do you know? Mm. So we need to, if we know that that bit's sixty, mm. and the rest of it's the whole thing's three hundred and sixty. So we do 360. Wait, 360 uh, minus uh, three, three times 90. Mm, kind of, you were really close. So I'll tell you what it is. So we know the inside angle is 60. Mm -hmm. Say you don't want to do the maths in your head, you can tell the computer to do it. So we want to do 360 minus 60. And that's going to do the maths for us. I think that'll work. And then we'll get... <laughs> Shows what I know. <laughs> okay, everybody, I give up. My geometry lessons were a very long time ago. But see if you can draw you those. You can okay? make... The... No, do it again. Let's see. We'll do trapezium. It were drew trapeziums, that was Let's a start. Let's do it well, again. Thank you, everybody. Let's do it again. We'll, we'll keep going afterwards. We'll get there in the end, even if it kills me. So thank you so kills. much, everybody. It won't kill me. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming along today. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something today as well about um, functions and how you can reuse your code. Because we only had to write our random colour code once, and we could use it for all the different pieces of art. Yeah. So that saves you writing loads and loads Wait, of code. Wait, next. And, your, and also, I'll give you some more homework. Try and draw a heart. Oh, that would be hard. No, it's just... So we'd love to see what you can do. Yeah, um, try so and you can always heart. you can always share your code with us by um, replying to Ben's email that gets sent out. We'd love to see what you can come up with and what modern art you can make. And hopefully we'll see you next week. So that's bye from me. I'm Ali, and bye from Dougie. That's Dougie. That's you. And do you want to say goodbye, Praveen? Yeah, thank you, everyone, and thank you, Ali and Dougie. Um, see you in two weeks. I think. Uh, oh we'll... yes. You're right. I forgot to say. Um, next week's half term, so we're taking a little break.
um, and we'll be back the following week. So that will be Ooh. Friday the 5th. And by the way, um, our next project will not be one on the um, scratch thingy. What all the projects, yeah. it's going to be something different. No problem. It's Thank you to everybody. Oh, is that is that a little Praveen I can hear in the background? Yes, it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for your help, Praveen. I'll catch you later, okay? Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Everyone, bye-bye.